So I nearly had a bit of a food waste disaster this morning. We're off away for a couple of days to see Kev's dad. And I went to check on the fridge just now and found this. Oh no! Defrosted chicken thighs that I defrosted yesterday and then forgot to cook them. So they're gonna go to waste. So I've got my camera out and I'm gonna show you a really quick chicken thigh dish that you can do in your Instant Pot Duo Crisp. So no messing about, let's get this done so I can get the rest of my packing done. <laughs> So here's what we're going to use. Chicken thighs, oregano, some oak smoked paprika, some adobo. I really love this stuff. I'm using three potatoes. You could use four if you had them. This is what I've got. One onion, one bell pepper, clove of garlic and a handful of tomatoes. And then the final thing you're going to need for this is your Instant Pot Duo Crisp. And for this recipe, I'm gonna be using both the pressure cooker lid, and then later on, I'm gonna be swapping over to the air fryer lid to make this dish extra special. So let's get the ingredients prepped and get this on. So we just start by browning off the chicken thighs, and you can miss this out if you haven't got time, but it does add a lot of flavor. And those are nicely browned, so let's give them 30 seconds or so on the other side. Beautiful. And then I'm going to use this handy gadget, which is a chopper. Really good if you're in a hurry for your celery, your onions, your carrots, those kind of softish vegetables. Also really good if you've got arthritis or problems with your hands, it makes it difficult to do a lot of chopping. These things are great. I'll put a link in the description to this one. There's lots of other brands too, so uh, whoop. So have a look for yourself. So now into that same hot oil, we'll put the onions. And meanwhile, we'll get the rest of the ingredients ready. So let's go. We've got garlic and we'll chop the pepper. And as I've already got my onion chopper out, let's make this super quick. No prep on the tomatoes other than getting them off their stalks. So the onions are nicely browned. Now we're going to add in the garlic. And then we're going to add in those lovely yellow bell peppers. And give those a stir. And now we'll add in our spices. So I'm using two teaspoons of smoked paprika. I'm not getting precise on this. Okay. Two teaspoons of uh, adobo paste. One teaspoon of oregano. This is beautiful fresh oregano. Give those a stir in. And then I forgot to say at the beginning, we're gonna add two cups of stock to this. So if you've got the Instant Pot eight quart, two cups is the minimum amount of liquid to use in this. Otherwise you may find you get errors or it doesn't come to pressure or it spits out water. None of that is harmful, but it won't give you the best cooking results. So two cups minimum for liquid. And then we're going to just drop in our peeled potatoes. We're going to just throw in our tomatoes as well. And then a little bit of seasoning. And then we'll turn off saute. Wish I was one of those cooks that could press the buttons on the instant pot in reverse. I really can't have to walk around. And then we'll just add the pressure cooker lid. And we're gonna cook this on pressure cooker high, 11 minutes and click start. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna go off and pack up the food we've got ready for Kevin's dad. So back soon. Okay, so I just do a fast release. And there we go. And we've got quite a
quite a lot of liquid going on here, so I'm going to just remove a couple of ladlefuls. Normally I might leave this in and saute it down a bit, but I don't have time today, so handy hint, just take out the liquid. Don't get rid of it, you can use this as a base for a lovely minestrone or another tomato base soup. And now we're just going to finish those off with the air fryer lid. Quick swap of the lid, broil 15 minutes, maximum heat setting 204C, click start. Take a look at our lovely paprika chicken. So all this would need now is a bit of final seasoning and ready to eat but for us I'm going to pop this in a bowl into the fridge to cool down and it will be here waiting for us when we get back from our trip. So this isn't the only chicken thigh recipe I do with my Instant Pot Duo Crisp and if you'd like to see another one take a look over there and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good weekend everyone.